super excited for this video because we are talking about relaxers, perms, sodium hydroxide that might be inside of your hair care products. And every once in a while, I will get a request on a very scary or hazardous looking ingredient in a hair care product. And today we are talking about sodium hydroxide. What is it? Why is it in there? Should you be concerned? So stay tuned. Okay, so what exactly is sodium hydroxide? Number one, it is an inorganic chemical compound and it's classified as an alkaline ingredient, meaning it is not acidic, it is not neutral, it is basic. It is pretty high up there. Um, it can range between 10 and 14, depending on the solution. And like most ingredients in the beauty industry, a lot of these are multifunctional. So sodium hydroxide, you might find it in the cleaning industry. You might find it in the food industry for processing food. You'll find it in the fabric industry for processing cotton. So it's very multifunctional. And we know it very, very well as the key ingredient in relaxers. It's known for straightening curly hair. And basically because that pH is so high, it has the ability to lift up the cuticles, enter into the hair, break the disulfide bonds, and it's the disulfide bonds that are held together that gives us our curl pattern and the structure of our hair. But when they're broken, that's when the straight hair is achieved. I will say this, I believe that you can have healthy, relaxed hair. Before I was natural, I was relaxed for a very long time and my hair was very healthy. So I just wanted to put that out there really quick. But even with that, why is there sodium hydroxide in hair care products? So, remember I was saying how some ingredients are multifunctional? The same thing applies for sodium hydroxide in hair care products. So more than likely, if you see sodium hydroxide in a hair care product that is not a relaxer, it's probably in there as a pH adjuster. Now, if I was creating some type of serum for the hair or cream for the hair, but the pH is too low, all right, let's say it's like a two or a three. Now, mind you, the ideal pH for the hair is 4.5 to 5.5, but as I'm formulating the serum, I'm getting a two or a three. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of sodium hydroxide to help to raise that pH, just so I can get to the ideal pH range for the hair. So it's great as a pH adjuster. On top of that, it's known for activating gels. Some gelling ingredients are pH dependent. So for example, if the pH is not ideal for a certain gelling ingredient, you won't even have a gel, you'll have like a liquid. But adding just a little bit of sodium hydroxide to help to raise that pH up a little bit will give you the gel texture that we know and love from like Eco Styler gel and other gels as well. Now, as far as like, you know, should you be concerned? Let's say I decide to formulate a hair relaxer and I put sodium hydroxide in the formula at let's say five to 9%. Like, I, like I'm making like a regular relaxer and a strong relaxer at 9% that formula is going to straighten your hair, hands down. Now let's say I decide to create a hair moisturizer or some type of hair care product and I use sodium hydroxide. And let's say I use it at 0.1% or 0.001%. Because sodium hydroxide is in there at such a low amount, it's not going to straighten your hair. It's not going to cause any harm to your hair because it's in there at such a small, small amount. So hopefully this brings some reassurance to you guys. If you happen to see sodium hydroxide in any of your products, typically this ingredient will be not at the top. It'll be like way down at the bottom. So with that being said, I hope this is super helpful. You guys learned something new. Of course, I have a question for you. What are some other ingredients that, you know, you consider scary or hazardous that you've been seeing in hair care products that you kind of want my take on? Let me know, comment below, and I look forward to joining the conversation with you. Be sure to check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients if you have not done so already. I'll have a link below for you to check out. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the process, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll have a link below for you to check out as well. All right, guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.